Hello, today I'm going to show you what happens when you create or edit or modify an item in a way that I'm going to show you what's in the screen and how that screen can be modified. For this, I will use my ERP project, our ERP project. I will go to boards, okay, and you see that I created some uh, items. Epics, features, user story, and tasks. Okay, so let's go step by step. Epic. You can see that I have in epic state, area, itera uh, iteration, and reason. And in details, this is details, okay, I have description, discussion, priority, risk, business value, time critical, state, target date, classification, development, and related work. So let's say, and de a deployment, let's say that I want to get rid of everything from this screen, okay, except description, discussion should be left, and related work. So I don't uh, need any of this. How can I do that? Well, let's switch to the to my uh, project once again here, and let's go to organizational settings. Okay, so in organizational settings, I will check process. Okay, and in under the process, I should uh, choose the process which is used by my uh, ERP system. It is it's this one. If you don't believe. We can click here and you will see that ERP project, the web shop project are using that. So let's go to work item types. Okay, now I'm in process, age of process, uh, age of process for Nano projects. And let's go to Epic and let's see what will happen. So I will choose the Epic and in layout, you can see that I have everything what was shown in this screen. Everything what is this is created in layout, process layout. Okay, now what I want, what I want to achieve. I want, first of all, details can be changed if I go here and edit. I can change the name of details. So let me put here like epic details. Okay, save. Now, let's say that I want this description to be mandatory. So when I uh, create uh, the new epic, I will not be able to save it if I don't put description in it. Okay, let's go here and let's say edit. And you will see here I ha can change the label. So the label, so I can say epic description. Okay, I can go to options and I, in options, you will see for each and every field required. I can put default value, but it doesn't make a sense for description to make default value. And I will say, save it. Okay, now I said that in planning, I don't want uh, anything here. So I can go here, okay. And I can say, hide from layout. Here, hide from layout. Here, I didn't know in the effort, hide from layout. And I will repeat for everything here. So it means it will not be seen in a layout. Value area also. What I want to hide from layout, deployment, development. And I want related work to remain. Now, let's go back here and let's refresh the screen. Voila, here it is. Link, epic description, okay? And you will see that I have here epic description. Here is epic details. And let me try to create new epic, okay? Because I have, let's go to boards, how many epics I have. Payrolls. Let's create another one. Billing. Okay. Epic. 
And I will say, so file title cannot be empty, billing. You can see this sign. It means this is mandatory. So I put epic here. In discussion, I will put nothing. And I cannot save it. I cannot save it. But I will say billing system for ERP project. OK? Now you see that I can save. OK. What can I do for the rest? Let's go to settings processes. Now go back to features. And let's that for feature, I need the same thing. Only related work and description, which is mandatory. Here, I can put edit now. Feature details, save, not description, but edit. Feature description, OK. And I will say in option, it is required, OK. And here, I can say for each and every of these, OK, hide from layout, 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 hide, hide, hide. Let's go here, hide, hide, and related work remains. Let's go back, back to work items. Let's go to features and what we'll have, what we will have here, exactly what I wanted. Okay, let's go back here and let's see what we have here for user story. For user story, I have description and acceptance criteria and I want to make it mandatory. Story points, I want it make it mandatory, but not in every status, so I will leave it as is. Priority, I will leave priority, and I will uh, 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 I will leave uh, uh, I will get rid of risk and value area and deployment and development. So let's go. Details, okay. Edit. Let's say user story details. Save. Description, edit, user, story, description, save, OK. And I forgot here, edit, options required, OK. Acceptance criteria, edit, options required, save, story points, not required now. Priority, let's say that priority is required, but I will say here, it's required and default value will be, let's say, three. Okay? Risk, I should get rid of risk. Okay? No, I won't. Value area, hide from layout, deployment, hide from layout, Development, hard, hide from layout. Let's go here. Let's see what we have here. Okay, now file description cannot be empty. You can see acceptance criteria. Once again, I already created a user story. It will not be raised or something will happen. But when you open it, you can change whatever you want. You can assign to someone whatever you want. But if you don't put description and acceptance criteria, criteria it will, uh, you will not be able to save it. So let's put here description, user story, user should be able to log in into payrolls for domestic employees domestic employees, but also should have a permission to log in because
uh, not everyone, you, every user, not every user can be logged in. Okay, acceptance criteria, user should put his username, pass, pa, let's let put it, let's make it nice. User should, should, let's say here, okay, one, put his username into login screen. Now, okay, put a password with minimum eight, eight characters and one number and one special character. Okay. Let's put user should have only three attempts to log in after that he she should be blocked okay and now save it great i have it here so let's go back and let's see what we happen here we sorry we happen here uh, agile process task okay for task i don't want priority i i want activity because you will see under activity i can choose is this development etc etc original remain and complete this one should uh, be uh, thrown out and these two should be thrown out as well so let's go finally here and let's go to details and let's put task details. Details, okay, save here, edit, task description, option required, save, priority, hide from layout, activity should be left, this should be left, this should be okay, this one should be hide from layout, this one should be hide from layout, this one should be hide from layout, okay, let's go to the task, and here it is. Now description cannot be empty, so I should put a description here, okay, but won't, I won't. So basically, if you want to change the layout, you will change the layout for not only the project, but for all projects which inherits this process. And if I go here in processes, and if I sh here choose the project, which is here webshop project, okay, which we didn't uh, uh, touch until now, if I go to board, and if I go to new work item, and let's say that I create Epic, I will get the same result. So if you want, for example, for just for example, to have specific screen, which will uh, uh, affect only one project, one and one project only, let's say that we are creating another project, we, we, uh, uh, okay, here, and then, uh, and the, uh, and all other projects will have different layout. In that case, what should you do? You should go here, organizational settings, 
as it was uh, explained in uh, my video number three uh, about processes, you should choose the process, for example, Agile, you should create inheritance project, you should put a name, and then you should apply this process to your specific project. And then, and at that specific, specific new process, you should change uh, those layouts for epic bugs and features. That is the only way, because you cannot have three or five or six different projects uh, which are in this process and each of them to have different layouts. So one process has one layout for one item type, like for example, bu bug, epic feature, etc. And last but not least, all project which belongs to this process will have the same layout for the items. Hope this helps and Next time, I will show you how can we put additional fields. Now we remove fields. I will uh, uh, show you how to put additional fields and, of course, how to create a custom field as well and put it in a layout. So, until then, thank you very much. Have a nice day.